right now I'm at Addu Atoll, which is in the deep south Maldives, the southernmost of all, Maldives. And I'm going to be talking about how an atoll is formed and what is in it. So, firstly, what is in it? So, this is what is inside. And as you can see, all the green is black and the red is in it. So you can kind of make out, right? That there's a circle. If you come on this side, there are islands over here. Then over there, there's a big gap. And then there's just a ring of islands going from uh, over there, then all the way here, and then joining up with a two city. Now, I'm going to tell you a bit about how an atoll is made. It all starts under the sea, so this is the sea. When some lava comes out of the ground. So then, it forms a snow log. With more and more eruptions, it keeps on growing and growing and growing until it forms a massive mountain that breaks through the surface. Congratulations, Mr. Seamount. You now become an island. It's now an island and sometimes I keep on erupting. For example, the Hawaiian Islands sometimes becomes dormant, which means that it stops erupting. And it could erupt at any time, but the eruptions have become more unpredictable and gradual. Then, after that, there comes a stage called extinct, which means that the volcano has will not erupt more. And by then it might have even grown that big. So now I'll show it to you from a from up. So this is the massive volcano with the crater, of course. And slowly a reef will begin to grow on the sides of the mountain. Around the coast, like that. Sometimes it will extend further, sometimes it will just stay near the coast. This is what we call a fringing reef. It's the most common reef type of reef in the world. And uh, an example of this is the Red Ant Diamond, which is in Malaysia. So there's a fringing reef going around most of the island. After that, from the stage where the mountain starts sinking. So, it will become sort of that. constantly sinking. As you can see, there's a gap of water up there. And that's what we call a lagoon. And many people die here because it's a very nice place to die. After that, this process keeps on going and eventually the whole island disappears in the Then, and um, through this whole time, the reef is constantly growing up and up and up and up and up. So it's 
constantly getting bigger and bigger. Eventually, the mountain will sink fully underneath the waves. And this ring of reefs, sometimes part of it dies, and those form the sand mixed with lots of other chemicals. Those from the sand make islands. So that's how the dawn is formed. So these islands get formed slowly but surely on the earth. On the reef. And this is what we call an atoll reef. So most of the time there are reefs in the middle also. And those will also break the shore to make swim islands. This is how an atoll is formed. So Maldives has lots of these. And so right now this is the south southern Maldives. And 